All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We are sitting in the Freedom Office. Before we get into this video, I want to let everybody know I'm going to be on the live chat this evening with Flying Rich and John Crump. John Crump is the real deal when it comes to 2A News. And uh, I mean that because I have a lot of friends who are in the 2A News. Okay, but this guy actually is involved in a lot of really cool stuff. So that's why I say that. All right, not to take away from anybody else, but man, yeah, this, this guy is really, really a genius. He's super smart. And uh, he knows the stuff when it comes to that. But we have a lot of fun. We're going to talk about a lot of crazy stuff. But uh, secondly, I want to talk about uh, the roof. The roof is on fire. Uh, the roof is just too damn hot. Uh, Butler, Pennsylvania. You want to know why no one was on that damn roof? It was like 97 degrees there. It's a white metal roof. Who in their right mind would actually want to be up there if they didn't have to be? That's my story, and that's what it's going to come down to. You mark my words, man. Uh, it was too open. It was too stupid. This is elementary. Who should be fired? Also, let me ask this question. Uh, how much was your power bill this month? Because of the existential threat to this world is the global warming, and that's what it's going to be. I, uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, mine was between five and a thousand. My wife is about to have a shit fit. Uh, everybody's going to be carrying around their personal fans. We're going to crank that thing up to about 73 and see if it makes a difference. I doubt it, but uh, we'll all die heaven, happily hot. Okay, so let's talk about this 2A, 2A guy. Um, the big thing is, in the aftermath of this uh, deal, is that the GOP is not changing their viewpoint on the Second Amendment. They're not calling for, oh, like a bunch of dims. They, they're not out here calling for everything to be banned. There's no way you're going to ban it. And uh, Wesley Hunt, a, a freshman uh, congressman uh, out of Houston, Texas, which is unreal to become a uh, congressperson and win a seat near Houston because Houston is by far one of the most liberal areas in the world. So kind of like Austin. Okay. Uh, that's where, what's her name? Uh, the chick that wears a cowgirl hat. I can't, uh, she thinks a, an AR weighs a thousand pounds as much as a box, hopeful boxes of something. All right. So anyway, let's talk about Wesley Hunt real quickly. Uh, cause I was very impressed. I, I, I've heard him speak and I was like, this dude's a badass. Okay. Um, Hunt, and I got this off of Wikipedia, right? Hunt was born and raised in Houston to a military family. Who, uh, after so was I, graduated from St. John's High School. He attended the United States Military Academy. Very nice. Where he received a Bachelor of Science in Leadership Management and Mechanical Engineering in 2004. Okay, for all the engineers out there, uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm the guy that... Oh, never mind. I want to get into it, man. Love me some uh, mechanical engineers. Okay. Um, his West Point class of 2004 classmates include U.S. Representatives John James and Pat Ryan. Hunt flew Apache helicopters in the military after being dis uh, not dishonorably, honorably discharged. He attended Cornell. Now check this out. He's got a master's of business, a uh, master's of public administration, and a master's of industrial and labor relations. Now, I'm just going to leave it there, okay? But th just uh, one Getting in West Point is uh, something else, okay? Oh, by the way, I'm in a burger place uh, the other day, and I saw a guy wearing this hat, except without it all being beat up and eaten by my favorite dog. Uh, and I said, hey, man, what's that going on Airborne? Come to find out, I was talking to a retired command sergeant major to 18th Airborne Corps. And I can't remember his name, but, man, what a really neat guy. His wife came out. You do know that he was a retired command sergeant major for 18th Airborne Corps. And I go, yeah, I got kind of chills on my, my arms right now. It's just so nice to meet somebody like that. All right, on to it. I'm going to read some stuff here. This is an article that was in USA today all right i will put the link to it down below so you can check and see what's going on. mill all right so here it goes milwaukee days after thomas matthew crooks this piece of shit put a former president trump's head in the sights of an assault style rifle representative wesley hunt made the case to keep the ar-15 in americans hands and that's when it, this is gonna be a really cool video guys so we're getting into it okay uh, you know, it's the most common firearm in the country right now, guys. I mean, uh, Democrats. Okay. You just can't go, no, we're going, we're going. We're going. What are you going to come and confiscate it? Guess what, big boy? You better have some balls. Hunt, a Republican from Texas, warned in the audience Tuesday morning that an AR-15 ban could become a Trojan horse. It could lead to a wider gun restrictions if the proponents on the left Try to push the issue in the wake of the assassination attempt. My message to you all is that to be vigilant here, Hunt said, noting assault-style rifles are responsible for a small fraction of U.S. homicides. They cannot go after our ARs the second we allow them to infringe on that. We are letting the fox in the hen house, and he is absolutely right. Guys, it's death by a thousand cuts, okay? If you continue, 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 continue to hammer and chip away at it, the rock becomes a pebble. 
And that's essentially what they're doing. They want to do a New Zealand deal. They want to do, uh, what's that jackass up in Canada? Uh, they want to just overnight figure out a way of turn them in, turn them in America, you dumbass woman. Uh, the attempt on Trump's life was a stunning moment in American history. And in this year's a presidential race, images of the former president hand reaching for his bloody ear, being tackled by security and resurging with a victorious fist in the air, shocked the nation and have electrified his uh, already passionate base of supporters in Milwaukee this week for the Republican National Convention. And uh, I got to I gotta say, this, this lady wrote a pretty good article. Okay, it's not too... Uh, uh, I, I think that what I'd like to see is that uh, when people are writing their articles, just try to remain sure or try to remain neutral. Speaking at an event near the convention on Tuesday, uh, gun advocates and a top Trump surrogate showed no sign of changing their tune on gun rights. Well, why would we, folks? Uh, in fact, they doubled down on the idea that more guns can prevent similar tragedies. That actually is true, but no one reports on it. The insinuation that we're going just to eradicate this country of guns is ridiculous one. We're ridiculous ones. <laughs> you better arm yourself accordingly, Hunt said. Uh, Chris La Civita, one of Trump's top campaign advisors, said at the same event that the former president would continue to push for gun rights despite the shooting. I think it's even better. Let's push for it harder, man. This is, gives him a platform. This gives him the ability to look, hey, look, you know, 99.9999% of the people in this world are good. It's that one jackass. So why are we going to let one individual's actions dictate what we all do? That's what sheep do. That's what people who are cowards do. Uh, yeah, they say he cast crooks as a rogue actor saying 99.999% of the gun owners are very responsible. There are so many different things you can do to curb, you know, the problem individuals as opposed to trying to ban what has clearly been defined by the constitution as a right. Okay. So let's just say this. They were reporting on this cat. Uh, he's a recluse. He was a bullied, uh, ate by himself in the lunchroom. And uh, basically what he's trying to do is show everybody in the world, hey, I can't be bullied. Watch this. And unfortunately, hey, man, we should do red flags on people who are bullied all the time. Those guys sitting over there in the edge of the, uh, the, uh, the cafeteria by themselves, let's red flag their ass. Makes sense to me, wouldn't it? I mean, hell, this is what they want to do to us. Um, Republicans in Congress have defeated multiple legislative pushes for gun control, including in the wake of the high profile, blah, 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 what's the blah, 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 I'm not saying it out loud, consistently have fought to preserve Americans' access to firearms. This is true. You know, here's the thing. If somebody goes out here and kills a bunch of people in a, in a minivan, right? Do you see anybody trying to ban the minivan? No, because, hey, listen, minivan's not a right. <laughs> <laughs> that includes the rifle that landed in Crook's hands. In a call, reporters Sunday afternoon, FBI officials said Crook's appears to have acted as a lone wolf using a firearm that authorities have said was purchased legally by his father. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to get into it. Instead, of gun rights advocates have framed that the issue as a matter of personal responsibility. A moderator at the Tuesday's event asked La Civita, La Civita, I'm going to make sure I say that, what lessons he teaches his children regarding the firearms. I just taught them they're very young to have respect for firearms. I do too. I don't leave a bunch of loaded guns laying around the house. There's one, and that's it, and it's on me. Uh, all my other firearms are locked up, and or and pretty much when my f f kids have friends over at the house, that's when we put them away because I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what their background is. I know some of his friends, their parents are very, very liberal, so we basically lock everything up. I don't know what to do, and I don't need their parents coming over here going, oh, my God. <laughs> I kept the stuff locked up except for the one to use next to my bed. Okay. The U.S. is an outliner. Okay, this is where they start going, oh, listen, this is what other people do. And they do like Joe Biden. I'm going to start doing this to you guys. The U.S. is an outlier when it comes to gun violence, but with a high concentration of firearms as well as a high rate of gun deaths per capita compared to many peer nations. Um. Well, here's the thing also, uh, like I had a friend of mine try to compare uh, the gun violence uh, from the United States uh, with somebody like Finland. I just say, look at the demographics, man. They don't have a Chicago. They don't have a, oh no, Baltimore. They don't have uh, a couple other cities where they just kill each other left and right. Doesn't matter. All matter because you uh, you made fun of me 
or you don't have any trust. For, I, I dissed me. This, <laughs> we saw one of the most protected men in the planet attacked, almost murder. Everyday Americans don't have private security around them. It's up to them to protect themselves, said Katie Pointer Bainey, who works on the government affairs for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. Love her. All right. When asked what needs to change, she said the country must address the underlying causes of violent crime. Yes, bullied kids. Listing, listing mental health, poverty, and instability in the home. With so many guns in circulation, it's wrong to think banning a certain type of firearm would be a silver bullet, she argued. It's, it's, they, they feel like they're going to be doing something. They feel like uh, we're doing, look at us, we're doing something. But what they're doing is ineffective. It's ridiculous. Um, okay, guns were allowed within walking distance of the RNC convention. A short-lived effort at City Hall to ban firearms within a security footprint failed because the local governments, such as Milwaukee, are precluded under state law from enacting gun regulations more stringent than the states. And good for them, as it should be. You get these little mom-and-pop communities out here, and they start outlawing things. Next thing you know, you either have to move because they have a little majority act over here, a bunch of ninnies who want to kick us out. The only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Hunt said, and that son of a bitch is now dead because a good guy with a gun shot his ass. Not, he shot him. I didn't even say, imagine how many more lives would be spared because that sniper acted and took him out immediately. And that poor kid, Corey, protecting his family. And I cry every time I think about that dude. Uh, Wes Hunt. Thank you, sir. For, you know, sticking up for our rights, sticking up for the people, doing what you're supposed to do. These other people, they don't give a shit. They're just following and doing what they're told. So with that, guys, I'm going to end it. It's a pretty long video. I uh, hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, uniform, 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. Oh, by the way, check it out, man. I uh, I uh, did a little, little, little straightening up in my back room here. So with that, y'all be good. And the infamous words of the real Cobra burnout. Hold on. Let's get back in focus here. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha.